My first experience with the 29er bike was last year in the beginning of the season for the Sea Otter mountain bike race. And I, at first I thought, you know, I don't want to ride this 29er goofy bike. But then after my first ride on it, I was talking to Ned, I was dealing with him on it, and I asked him if I could race it at all the races. It, um, it made that much of an impact on me the first time I rode it. And since then I've been hooked. I've ridden it probably at 90% of the races this past 09 season. And, and with the new um, Epic 29er coming out this year, I'll probably ride it, you know, a 29-inch wheeled bike at all the races this year. You know, a standard cross-country mountain bike has 26-inch wheels, and that's been the standard since mountain biking really got going. And over the past couple years, there's been an increase, a new kind of standard coming out with a 29-inch wheel. And basically what those bigger wheels do is they effectively make all the bumps and rocks, roots that you're riding over smaller because you're hitting it with a, a bigger circle. So it's at you know less of an angle and it makes it easier to roll over rough stuff. I can't see any disadvantages to this bike. It's the weight um, between the 26 and the 29 is negligible and the handling and the traction you get with the 29er is incredible.